In this video, I will show you the top seven fail spots on this Kelmscott driving test route. We received several reports stating these locations are the most challenging in the area. Number one, intersection of Gillam Drive and Champion Drive. This is a roundabout which clearly states you can only go left from the left lane and you can go straight and right from the right lane. A significant number of learner driver candidates fail in this particular spot because they line up in the wrong lane. If the assessor asks you to go straight ahead, you will have to change lanes before it's too late because when the white line becomes unbroken, you can no longer change lanes. It's just opposite the 7-Eleven service station. Be sure that you come around and check this spot before your driving assessment. It's very likely that you're going to drive through this particular roundabout towards the end of your driving test because the licensing centre is literally just around a corner. Number two, Railway Avenue, the level railway crossing. You have to be very careful here, especially during peak hours traffic. It's just across the road to the music shop. It's the less difficult one out of the two that I'm going to be showing you today. The one on Armadale Road is much more challenging. If there's any traffic in front of you, going through the yellow painted zone, make sure that you can fit before you commit. Your car must be moving while you're in the painted zone. Never get stranded in the middle because if there's a car that blocks you from behind, you might be in the middle of the path of oncoming train. If you are turning right here, you've got to make sure that you give way to people coming from the left-hand side because a lot of people fail just for checking the right-hand side and committing to turning before the car from the left-hand side clears. Number three, we are turning on Armadale Road. This right turn here is challenging enough for most experienced drivers because you've got to commit in the middle, in the refuge lane. If there's nobody from the right-hand side and if there's no cars, turning right from your left-hand side. There's a stop sign here as well. So even if you see from the distance that you have opportunity to turn, still you have to stop completely. Once you got into the refuge lane, you've got to wait until everyone clears from your left-hand side before you proceed. Same rule for level railway crossings, you don't get stranded in the middle of the yellow painted zone. Don't commit unless your car can fit. This is probably the most important rhyme that you need to remember for the rest of your life. Not all the assessors take you to this location, but some do. You have to be prepared anyway. Number four, this is badly designed intersection. It looks like you can squeeze the car if you're turning right here, but you can't, there's not enough space there. So, you know, if you're trying to turn right here, just stay behind the car that's turning left or proceeding straight ahead. So you've got to be mindful the space on the right-hand side cannot accommodate the extra car. A lot of inexperienced drivers make this mistake. They try to squeeze in. Also, a lot of fails have been reported at this particular intersection because you've got to give way to traffic from the opposite direction and there's no green Arrow. Give way rule applies. We have several videos on this topic, so check them out. Number five, keep clear zone. A lot of learner drivers, for some strange reason, if the traffic is congested, stop in the middle of the keep clear zone. Avoid this at any cost because the assessor will have to discontinue your driving test. I had a chat with a gentleman who failed his driving test in that exact spot and, you know, he was furious because he didn't understand why there's a keep clear zone there because there's only a car park, Red Rooster or something. It's best to imagine it's the emergency department there. So, you know, just obey the rules, you know, especially in your driving test because that's when it counts. Your actions will determine whether you pass or fail. Number six, so many people fail here. Albany Highway is one of the busiest roads in Perth. If you're turning right here without the green arrow, you better make sure that you give way properly. Also, you must keep an eye on the lights. If it changes to ember and if you keep standing in the middle, the assessor will have to intervene, which you know what it means. They're going to have to bring you back straight away. Number seven, Reverse bay parking on the right-hand side. Apparently, a lot of instructors don't teach this. Many driving test candidates who get to this car park would do reverse parking on the right-hand side. Get your supervisors to practice this with you and don't take no for an answer. I truly hope that this video will improve your chances of passing a driving test at Kelmscott. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.